Hello, and thank you for joining me for another adventure in Thrifting with Purpose. This is just a little video I wanted to share that I'm not always as organized as it may seem. Just when I thought I had completed um, the challenge that Nancy at the Silver Stuff House had put out. 11 boxes of china, pewter, and assorted glassware arrived in the mail. This was gifted to me by my sister-in-law. A friend of hers was downsizing and all of this was going to end up at the thrift store. So it was gifted to me to sell in our eBay store or to anyone who inquires from the videos and the money goes toward my son's college future. That's what the YouTube channel and our eBay store is for. Also in this box was an assortment of vintage cards from this very nice lady and I've divided those into three lots and I'll be sharing them soon in a video. As I was trying to figure out where I'm going to put all this china, I had to take the closet apart because when my husband built this house, the people who put the closets in did not use reinforced for screws that flare out behind the wallboard. So I had to take everything out of the closet um, and put those screws in. This is all um, supplies for my craft fair projects and um, the uh, projects for the new crafting channel, The Eclectic Crafter. We will be uploading soon on that. And yes, I'm not the only one in the world who has Christmas through April. When we got the bees, my husband finally took the uh, wreath off the front porch. And I am still waiting to see how long it will take for him to notice that there's still a wreath hanging in the dining room. And there it is. And all these wreaths have been thrifted, by the way. Uh, these I got at Michael's several years ago, but they've been hanging in the living room for about four years. I'm going to make a garland of hyacinths this year, I think. Now, I had thought I'd saved up for a china cabinet um, with our uh, that rebate that you get at the end of the year with Costco, uh, but our dishwasher broke, and so my china cabinet now looks like a dishwasher. So in the meantime, three weeks ago, I thrifted this from St. Vincent de Paul. It was 50% off day. I paid $25 for it. It was missing its glass shelves and one door. But I was delighted. My husband was very skeptical uh, because of all the scratches on it. Now, mainly the scratches were around the base, as you can see. But in my husband's world, the entire cabinet looked like this. Don't get discouraged if you find a nice piece of furniture and it does have some scuffs because you can take care of that. Now this is what I used. My mother used this on furniture that she restored and she would needlepoint beautiful cushions for lovely old chairs and then resell them. That was in the 70s. This is the glass I had cut. I did have four extra shelves cut for the cabinet because I don't have a lot of tall things, a lot of smalls. And this is how it turned out. I'll be sharing this china and glassware in upcoming premieres. Um, probably more toward the end of the month because I'm getting ready for surgery next week. I'm really happy the way it turned out and um, actually my husband's very happy with the way it turned out and he was quite surprised. He'd never seen old English um, polish used like that before. I did order a black light for the top shelf. All the uranium glass will stay at the top. There are some quite nice pieces in there, especially among the teacups. And I think you'll enjoy that when I get to that point of being able to share them with you. Some of the glassware, uh, most of the red, is downstairs. 
Those are three of the jadeite cups that survived. I did have some casualties and I'll share that in the video soon. The top, I used the door that was on the cabinet. I took that off, hot glued it to the top of the cabinet and created a shelf for larger objects like the mid-century chip and dip set. And that is how the bottom turned out. It was absolutely lovely and my husband was really impressed. He even shared how well it turned out with his brother, which was delightful for me. This is the old stage. I try to repurpose everything and to stretch that dollar as far as you can. I stripped it with all the doodads that had, I had on it and took it downstairs to paint with primer. And the reason I did that is because the new felt, uh, the dark felt would show through. So now we have a new light box for phot photographing things for eBay. And there's the finished closet. Everything is well supported and back in place and organized. And this is what the sewing table looked like when I was going through and trying to figure out how many projects I had left that had gone unfinished uh, toward craft fair. And I have seven, so I will be getting these done probably this weekend. The two binders, I store all my ideas, whether it's soap making or just various crafts in binders. The furthest one from you on the left side of the pink box has all my ephemera projects in it and the one on the right just has images of craft ideas that I've collected for the last 10 years. I lived in apartments for many, many years and even if you live in an apartment, if there's a special corner you can carve out for yourself and make it a special place for you to go to sit and read and do crafts, um, do that because make that your own and make it kind of a little sanctuary for yourself to go to. This was an empty room above my husband's garage and he painted it lavender for me and that was 10 years ago. And I built all these shelves over the last three years. I did not have any place to put my books. The little white shelf that the stove is sitting on is an old DVD case that I just reclaimed. And there are the three Simons. And they're just the calm before the storm because I did quite finish and uh, eventually the jobs all get done so don't get discouraged. The storage unit, this is what it looks like because we store our lawn furniture in here so all the lawn furniture had to come out which means that everything had to come out that was in front of it. Those three boxes are for yard sale and everything on this side is a project in progress for yard sale and my eBay is at the far end. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Don't be discouraged. You'll get the job done. Please like, subscribe, and share and have a lovely day.